Hey everyone, welcome back to this playlist on the Tosca interview questions and answers. Now we have been discussing many real-time Tosca interview questions which you might face in your interviews. So let's continue and let's discuss about our next question which is related to test case designing in Tosca. So the question which could come up in an interview uh, is how do you design your test cases in Tosca? And then the next part to this question could be uh, what kind of techniques did you use to design your test cases and uh, how did you implement this in Tosca? Now, test case designing is considered uh, one of the crucial uh, components of the Tosca framework. Also, uh, it is one of the complex areas where uh, different people find it difficult to understand and implement this in Tosca. So it is highly likely that you would encounter one or more questions from this particular topic. Now, in the several interviews uh, which I have been part of, I have seen several candidates uh, who have shown their hesitation uh, in utilizing test case designing in their projects, citing uh, its uh, complexity. And sometimes um, they say that it's not really mandatory to use this particular section. Now, that is not true in all the cases. Now, it completely depends um, on the projects which you are working on, um, and there could be several reasons why uh, test case designing uh, is not implemented currently. But uh, despite that, uh, even if uh, test case designing is not currently implemented in your current project, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and understand all the principles and options which are available in the test case designing section and also uh, showcase it during your interview because it will help you to convince your interviewer that you can handle any level of complexity uh, when it comes to Tosca. So remember that uh, while answering this particular question, you should mention about the various aspects and options which are available in the test case designing section. Uh, what are the different techniques uh, which are available in Tosca and how did you implement them? So let's look at some points uh, which could be useful uh, to prepare this particular answer. So let's talk about the first point, uh, which is about the attributes and instances. Now, these are the basic components of any test design sheet. So here we can mention that we have used attributes to associate different business objects to our test cases. Uh, this helped us to uh, design um, our different test scenarios. For example, uh, when we were testing the payment page, we associated uh, different uh, business objects related to the payment options like the debit cards, credit cards, uh, or internet banking to different attributes. Also, we utilized uh, instances to create different variations of uh, the values for these different attributes. Now, this helped us to cover a lot of different scenarios and a lot of different test data combinations. Now, if we take the example of uh, our payment page where we created different attributes, so uh, we created different instances uh, for all these different attributes, like um, for credit cards, we created instances such as Visa, MasterCard, uh, or MX. Now coming to the next point, uh, which is about the business relevance of the attributes. So here you can mention, that uh, the business relevance um, has got different values like yes, no, or result in Tosca test case designing section. And we have assigned uh, all these different values to different attributes uh, depending on, on our testing requirements. Now, depending on the different values which are assigned to these different attributes, uh, it will have an impact on the test cases which are generated from our test case designing section. And it also helps us uh, in deriving the optimum number of test cases for uh, maximum coverage. So here you can mention that uh, we use this technique uh, to define different business relevance values for our different attributes. This helped us to identify which attributes uh, are business relevant, which are not business relevant, and which attributes could be uh, used for uh, verifying the results. This also has an impact on how the different test instances are generated for optimal coverage. The next point uh, which we can discuss uh, is about the instance character and position. So here we can mention that we defined our instance types uh, based on the type of character. Now there are different values here uh, like the valid, invalid, and state true. 
So uh, we have assigned different values to our different instances based on our different scenarios. This helped us to derive different scenarios like the valid scenarios, the invalid scenarios, and the state through uh, scenarios uh, which are considered the high risk scenarios because they are frequently used by the users uh, in the application. Now coming to uh, the position, uh, here we can mention that we have categorized each instance based on the position. So it could either be a inner value or a boundary value. Now the boundary values uh, require additional testing because there is a high risk of failures for these particular values. Now this particular technique, which we have used uh, in Tosca also mirrors uh, the approach which is used in functional testing to design our test cases. Um, the techniques which are used are called equivalence partitioning and boundary value analysis, which is used uh, to derive the minimum number of uh, test combinations, which is uh, required for maximum coverage. Then we can talk about the next point, which is about the combinatorial methods which are available in test case designing using Tosca. Uh, here we can mention that we have uh, used uh, different types of combinatorial methods uh, depending on our test requirements. Sometimes we require more combinations. Sometimes we require the optimum number of combinations. But uh, at most times, uh, we use the recommended combinatorial method, which is the linear expansion method uh, here, Tosca generates the optimum number of combinations, uh, which has got the maximum coverage. Then uh, finally, we can talk about uh, the use of classes in our test case designing. So we use classes to minimize the redundancy uh, in our test case designing. Here, instead of using the attribute multiple times in different test sheets, we create a class where uh, we have got all the attributes which are commonly used across different test sheets. This allows us to centrally manage our attributes in a single place. Also, uh, it helps us to reuse these attributes um, across different test sheets. So these are all the points uh, which uh, we can factor in when we are trying to answer this particular question. Now, remember that designing test cases is a crucial aspect of Tosca and it should not be overlooked during your interviews. Demonstrating comprehensive knowledge and experience uh, in this area could significantly enhance your chances of uh, getting hired. So as always, thank you for listening to me. Uh, I hope this was helpful and uh, it could help you in preparing for your next Tosca interview. Uh, do let me know if you have got any comments or feedback or you want me to cover any particular question related to Tosca. So that's all for now, and I will be back soon with another interesting question on uh, Tosca real-time interview questions.